Hi, it's Richard Dwyer of richarddwyer.com. I'm a former associate editor of the Stanford Law Review, here with a legal tip for entrepreneurs to consider. When you're negotiating a contract with another side that calls for the other side's performance by a date certain, Right, some deadline in the future by which you need for them to do certain acts. What you may want to consider, including in the contract, is a liquidated damages provision. What a liquidated damages provision does for you is it creates a penalty in the contract, let's say a daily penalty or a weekly penalty, that the other side agrees to pay if they don't do certain acts required by the contract or meet certain deadlines required by the contract. As an example, let's say I have an agreement with the other side that requires them to deliver certain documents to me by the first of the month. A good liquidated damages provision in the proper legal font and keep in mind you should check your local statutes to make sure that the wording is conspicuous because state laws require it right a good liquidated damages provision would literally find the other side X amount of dollars let's say a hundred dollars a day for every day they're late delivering the documents to me. At trial, should the case go to trial, you would save a lot of money, possibly thousands of dollars in attorney's fees by being able to avoid having to prove contractual damages other than by simply having to point out the validity of the liquidated damages provision and then to compute the damages from the liquidated damages provisions formula. So liquidated damages are very powerful. Parties are able to negotiate resolutions to breaches of contract simply by pointing to their entitlement to a specified amount of damages from that liquidated damages provision. What you want to do is to make sure you talk with your attorney about including a liquidated damages provision in your agreement as it's being negotiated. One caveat, liquidated damages have to be reasonably related to your actual damages. Otherwise, the other side will argue that the clause is unreasonable and not legally enforceable. Right, and some of the example I gave, if you could make a compelling case that the other party's failure to deliver the documents to you by the first is costing you around a hundred dollars a day in actual damages, right? As long as you can make some plausible argument with a straight face, then your liquidated damages provision should be upheld by the court. Don't hesitate to contact us with any further questions or comments. I can be reached at Dwyer at richarddwyer.com. Dwyer is spelled D-W-Y-E-R. Thanks for watching.